the boss of Queensland Health has resigned after facing widespread criticism over a push to change the state's whistleblower laws. Lucy Gray reports. Sean Drummond has resigned as Director General of Queensland Health just eight months into a five-year tenure, a decision which appears to have blindsided the state's health minister. Mr Drummond had faced days-long criticism from the likes of the AMAQ patient advocates and health minister Shannon Fentiman herself over a submission the department made to a review of the state's whistleblower laws. The submission called for penalties to be considered for whistleblowers who leak certain information to journalists. It was widely disputed as an attempt to stop journalists holding the department to account. Mr Drummond informed the Premier of his decision on Tuesday, which she revealed at a press conference yesterday. Yesterday. Let me say that um, Mr Drummond has done an excellent job as the uh, head of the department. Uh, Mr Drummond has informed me that uh, it's his intention to step down from his position. Mr Drummond claimed to have been considering the move for the last few weeks in an email to Queensland Health staff sent yesterday. But it appears the health minister was left in the dark about the decision as she was still backing him in at her own media conference on Wednesday. I have confidence in the DG. A miscommunication the state opposition has seized on. At the same time the Premier was saying, oh, I got his resignation yesterday, the Health Minister was simultaneously doing a press conference saying, I fully support the Director General. It's nuts. We've got the worst ambulance ramping in the nation. Elective surgery continues to blow out. We've got places in the Torres Strait that just aren't getting serviced. A maternity crisis throughout regional Queensland and they are absolutely consumed with themselves. Regardless of why or who knew about Mr Drummond's decision to resign, it leaves Queensland Health without a boss and a minister who's only been in the job for six weeks at a time when the sector is in crisis.